as we end 2025 entering 2026 let's take a look at some new add-ons that have been specifically crafted so that you can easily use blender in ways that you might never thought before starting with sanctus viz this is a new add-on catering for the arcviz community giving you new ways to create materials textures that are mostly used in arcviz these are going to be very clean including a lot of generators for roof tiles sheets and other stuff the creator of arcviz is the same guy who created the sanctus library and other tools he's been around in this community doing a lot of cool uh, stuff sanctus viz comes with a lot of generators for roofs floors rugs surfaces and a lot more everything is procedural tileable and you have material sets for glass metals plaster plastic concrete fabric and a lot more basically anything you're going to need for arcviz you're likely going to find it in the add-on Next up, let's take a look at Smart Blend, a new add-on that lets you blend different materials. Especially if you are importing several objects from different areas, you can use Smart Blend to blend the different textures so that they look integrated and from the same world. The add-on also comes with its own masks that make it easy for you to add things like dirt, snow cover, dust, and other materials. The add-on also comes with over 140 procedure materials including woods, metals, fabrics, stones, sci-fi panels, and a lot more with an easy user interface to let you set up everything as needed. If you want some clouds, atmosphere, god rays, fog, and a lot more, you might want to check out True Sky 3. This gives you planet scale level scattering so that you can go from street level to lunar orbits and see the entire planet with correct physical lighting. Lighting and clouds behave exactly how you expect them from all angles and heights. The add-on is designed to be super accurate and easy to use, making True Sky a good replacement to HDRIs that are usually limited in their dynamic range and customization. True Sky's clouds can be animated at the time and day can be changed. You can even adjust seasons and weather patterns. So if you want to create cinematic lighting without putting in too much effort, True Sky 3 gives you everything you need to do that easily. Let's go back to interiors and talk about Procedure Interiors by Diffuse Studios who made Procedure Crowds and other add-ons like that and I always love their add-on demos. They really showcase how powerful their add-on works in these demos. Procedure Interiors is a collection of different objects for interiors including a lot of furniture, decorative materials like curtains, windows, clothes and anything you might need for an interior. The add-on also allows you to procedurally and easily reshape kitchens, closets, and other surfaces to adapt automatically to the layout you have defined. It also comes with a lot of parameters to customize and control over the actual elements like walls, openings, doors, windows, and letting you adjust these properties at any time. If you make a lot of objects with smooth surfaces like cars, product design, and others, then you're going to love loft curves. This is an add-on that turns curves into surfaces by filling in gaps between different curves to make a solid mesh. This is all procedural, so you can adjust the shape of the surface even after creating the curves. This is amazing for creating smooth surfaces like creating the body of a car or a sci-fi product design with a lot of soft and smooth curves that can be really hard to make with just meshes. Loft curves is comparable to nubs surfaces but with more control and more customization. With this you get instant conversion of curves into surfaces, live editing, guided curve control and a lot more other features. If you're making smooth surfaces that need that precision of curves, you might want to check out loft curves. The easiest way to make money from Blender is creating animations for companies, especially motion graphics, which includes a lot of text animation for presentation and product showcase. Unfortunately, Blender doesn't have good text animation tools, so a good add-on for text animation in Blender is Textmograph. This allows you to easily animate text in Blender without doing a lot of work. And given that Blender is a 3D application, just a simple tool like this can make it as powerful as After Effects when it comes to motion graphics. HDRI images are not just meant for lighting, but you can actually make them part of your scene, especially with an add-on like PyDOM, which converts the spherical HDRI into a world, including a ground that can capture shadows and even be adjusted to add water puddles and other effects like normal and bump map detail. 
and if your azure eye was captured in a rectangular room then a sphere would not cut it so you might need a rectangular shape to capture the corners of the azure eye correctly without any stretching making it easy for you to capture the details of the azure eye and make it fully integrate into the scene you have created Next up, let's take a look at the Procedure Volume Simulation Pack. This is a collection of different volume assets that can be used in different ways. A one that I like most is this cloud simulation that creates clouds from any shape, but also allows other objects to interact with the said clouds. So if you have, say, a plane going through clouds, this would be a good way to use that add-on to add that set of detail of just clouds moving away while objects go through them, adding another layer of realism to your render. Another great feature of this collection is the animated clouds over terrains. So if you have a scene with a lot of elevation and you want to make it look more cinematic, you can add these clouds that can work to add extra detail in your scene. There are a lot more other examples in this pack, including the procedure of volume fire that lets you generate fire without the limitations of a domain, which makes it easy to simulate things like projectiles without the restrictions of a domain or creating large domains that will require a lot of computation time. It also includes other packs like dripping snow, so if you want to create a snow effect, this is a great one and other effects you might want to check out in the description. Speaking of simulations, let's take a look at Fluid Flow, which is a new fluid simulation system that basically creates a 2.5D fluid simulation. You will normally see these types of simulations in game engines like Unreal Engine, and they are quite effective for simulating things like river, flooding, and other effects in this category. What is amazing about these simulations is that they are fast, they look quite realistic, and they are not limited by the bounds of a domain. So you can create large simulations like this without incurring a lot of computation time. To close out this list, I'll just talk about my new add-ons, the Cloth Library 2, which is a collection of looped clothes and static clothes that are textured for you to use in your character animations. If you want to have a character standing in the wind, you can simply drag and drop these clothes onto the character and they will have the effect of wind on them. You can rig the characters. I have a, a few tutorials to show you how you can easily rig the animated cloth onto your character so that even when they walk, you still get the effect of the looped animation. This pack also comes with textured clothes as well that I'm constantly updating to add more designer clothes. And finally, for anyone who does a lot of product product design in Blender or just product rendering in Blender and you might need a quick way to add labels and stickers to any object, check out my layer-based image editor that turns Blender into Photoshop, giving you access to editable layers. That way you can easily add text, labels, logos, everything you might need to recreate a product label directly in Blender without jumping between different applications. And that's it. If you want to check out all these add-ons, links are going to be in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.